Alrighty, everybody. What is going on, everyone? Hello, hello. And welcome. Welcome to another full streaming day. Hope everyone's doing well today. What's up? What's up? What's up? Today is Saturday, August 10th, 2019. And I welcome all of you to my first of two gameplay streams. Alright, very nice. I hope you guys are, are having a good weekend so far and you're looking forward to some fun streams for the next couple of days, right? A couple full days of excellent streams on the horizon. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about what you guys can expect on my gameplay stream, shall we? Uh, today, we're returning to retro goodness. That is right, we're going back to Mario 64 for my third session. This will officially get me into like 12 to 14 hours of gameplay. Um, looks like I'm being told that r I probably have roughly uh, another two to three major sessions of this game left if I'm going for the 120 stars. Like technically, <clears throat> right now, I could beat the game. I have 70 stars and you only need 70 stars to actually fight the final boss and complete the main story of the game. But I'm not just going for the standard... I'm going for the full-on all of the stars in the game because I've never done that before. <clears throat> you know, the original time that I played this game in the 90s, I didn't even know that there were 120 stars in the game. You know, it's not like the game tells you that there's 120 star stars with all the secret ones and everything. Um, the second time... <clears throat> excuse me. The second time that I played it, was on the Nintendo DS version, which is a very different version from the original game because you've got different characters with, I guess, different abilities and stuff you can unlock that have, you know, different uh, properties. And it makes the game, you know, easier. A lot of people complain that that version is, is fun, but it's too easy uh, uh. compared to the challenge of the original game, which is meant to just be played with Mario, okay? So, yes, I am going to <clears throat> do my absolute best <clears throat> to try to get every single star of the 120 stars in the game. I don't know how that's going to go. We're going to see. If I am really going for every one, probably two to three more sessions makes sense. Right now, I'm on I'm level nine, I believe. From what I'm being told, like it's the actually the last few stars that are like incredibly difficult. The last couple stages to get 100 coins and the like is like a, a true nightmare. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I guess we'll see. Again, I've never attempted to do this before, so I don't know for myself if that's the case or not. I really don't know much or anything about it, um, but we're going to find out, all right? In fact, it was funny because some of the the, coin, the, the uh, stars I've already gotten, I've never gotten before. Remember the one in the, the sand pyramid where I had to collect all the hidden uh, the hidden coins that basically counted down numbers and the like? Like, I had never even seen that before. I didn't know that that existed. Uh, so that was kind of neat to see it for the first time, uh, but I certainly don't know... You know, uh, you know, continuing on, if I'm going to be doing as well as I'm doing right now, I guess we'll find out. All right. So, four plus hours of retro Mario goodness on the stream today. <clears throat> I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, later tonight, it will be the continuation of Judgment on the late stream. Um, and I'm pretty much nearing the end of the game. We're still in Chapter 11, which I've been in the last three sessions, but that's because I keep doing side content. I keep telling myself, you know, oh, the game's going to end. <clears throat> but then every single time I play, um, I don't usually get to the story because I get immersed in the side content, okay? And to be quite frank, I'm not in a hurry to finish the game. I've been playing it since late June and enjoying it so much that I really want to get all the content out of it that I feel is worthwhile. And the side content has been quite entertaining to me. So if I keep doing side content, I'm okay with that. Um, I might do even look for more... Uh, you know, more side cases and side content tonight instead of focusing on the story. Or maybe I'll do the story. I don't know. I'm being told that if I just focus on the story of Judgment, I'll beat the game in three hours. Um, <clears throat> which is fine, but a little bit... Maybe a little bit disappointing since it's a game I've been playing for so long. Okay. So we'll see. Tonight we'll see how it goes. Two hours of Judgment later tonight. And yes, on the late stream, if my cat Jasper so wishes to join us, he may join us. Um, I don't know if he's going to want to join us or not. That's totally his, his call, um, you know, based on how he feels. As you know, he comes in and out of the office at nights, um, and kind of just does his own thing, and that's perfectly fine. 
Uh, you know, it's cool to have him come in here every once in a while and hang out with us. Uh, if he feels like it, and if not, that's fine too, but he has been hanging out with us a lot recently. The last couple nights that he's been able to come in here, he pretty much comes in here every chance he gets, uh, and then he, he wanders in and out, but it's nice to have a new element to the streams, right? So yeah, so, um, yes, that will be tonight's late stream, Judgment, okay, should be pretty fun. Um, alright, tomorrow, another big day, guys. Tomorrow's a big day because tomorrow I'm starting up my Grand Theft Auto 4 playthrough, all right? Now, I've only played Grand Theft Auto 4 twice. Once when it was a new release, I played it on the Xbox 360. And then later on, I played it again on the Xbox 360 for YouTube. Once I was a YouTuber, right, and I was making content for the internet, I wanted to do a playthrough of it. Now, I will say this. The playthrough I did seven plus years ago was not a bad one. In fact, I remember really enjoying the game and... You know, Grand Theft Auto uh, 4 is one that I kind of hold near and dear in my heart because it was the first one I ever played. I never had played the other 3D Grand Theft Auto games before 4. So, being the first one in the series that I ever played, it was really unique and interesting to me to, to get immersed in this sandbox world and all of that. And I very much enjoyed the game. Um, and I wanted to obviously experience that with all of you guys for YouTube. And I did, but... Back then, it was before I was streaming, it was before there was direct capture, so the quality of the first half of the playthrough is really bad. It's, you know, you know, basically the old style camera stuff I used to do. Um, then, I did continue the playthrough with direct capture later on. I remember when I did the DLCs, I did direct capture, and the thing was, back then, I, when I live streamed, I wasn't interactive or whatever. Alright, so even though this, I would say the DLCs came out a little bit better, the playthrough... Um, I still feel like it's not up to standards of what I do today. Now, in addition to that, sadly, this playthrough got ruined on YouTube over the years because it had all the music in it. And for those of you who don't know, YouTube basically takes all third-party licensed music and content ID claims it now, which means those videos either got muted, blocked, or otherwise destroyed by YouTube's garbage match system. All right? So it's pretty much impossible... For anyone to even really watch those full that full playthrough of GTA 4 from seven years ago anymore, because the whole damn thing is kind of destroyed thanks to YouTube being freaking stupid. Okay, so this playthrough, what I'm going to attempt to do is number one, re-experience Grand Theft Auto 4 for what it is, because it's a game that I really enjoy, and also put out a full direct capture playthrough of the game that looks great, sounds great, and. I'm not going to be using the in-game radio. Instead, we're just going to be do interacting and talking on the streams when I'm driving around and the like during the dead air. And that's going to allow it to have a full playthrough without stupid content ID and bullshit in it. Okay? So that's going to start tomorrow. I'm definitely excited for that. I hope that you guys are excited for that as well. Um, that should be a good time. Um, and so that's a you know fir first full stream of that tomorrow. And then... Uh, it will basically be a, a regular playthrough I'm going to be doing. Okay, a regular playthrough starting up, and it should be a lot of fun. So hopefully you'll be here tomorrow for the big premiere if you can be. If not, you know, it'll be on demand on YouTube as usual. Okay? Um, so that's tomorrow's main gameplay stream. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to do some throwback retro Street Fighter. That's right, probably some Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, um, and maybe some Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I've been doing these retro throwback Street Fighter streams recently. They've been doing very well. People have been attending and really enjoying them and telling me that I should keep doing them, so I see no reason to stop now. So that will be tomorrow night's late stream, okay? And again, if Jasper wants to join us for Street Fighter, he can, okay? Uh, Monday, I am off from streaming. No streaming on Monday because I will be out and about doing stuff with my wife. The one day a week I actually get to spend time with my wife and get stuff done. We'll be out doing stuff, uh... And then I'll be back on Tuesday. Tuesday should be interesting because I'm returning to Mortal Kombat 11 for the first time in over a month with the premiere of Nightwolf, the next DLC character uh, for Mortal Kombat 11 coming out um, on Tuesday. So that's going to be the main gameplay stream on Tuesday where I take Nightwolf into the single player modes like training mode, tutorial mode, and his arcade ladder to learn the character and then bring him online and see what we can do in an online setting with him. Okay? So that should be fun on uh, Tuesday. Then uh, Tuesday night, 
probably going to do a chill style stream. And you may say, well, what chill stream are you going to do? Well, if you really think about it, if you think about all the chill streams I did this week, um, uh, I think, if, I'm trying to think, I think the one I haven't done in the, in the longest would have been Blackout. I'm trying to remember, what, this week was a weird week because the Minecraft thing screwed the whole schedule up, right? The Minecraft thing completely screwed our schedule up because I couldn't play Minecraft on the day that I normally want to, I would normally play it. And, you know, it, it skewed everything. And now I'm confused as to, like, I, I'm definitely doing a chill stream, and the chill streams, FYI, that are in the rotation right now are as follows. We've got Black Ops 4 Blackout. We've got Madden 20. Yes, Madden has now become a late-night chill stream, and it will be moving forward, FYI. Um, it's not going to be a main daytime stream anymore, just so you guys know. Um, we've also got my, my Minecraft chill stream, right? And then we've got Street Fighter. Now, I'm doing Street Fighter on Sunday. I'm doing Judgment on Saturday. Uh, I guess I could I could do another session of Judgment Tuesday night, or I could do my Black Ops, Black Ops 4 Blackout stream. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Maybe it'll be one or the other. I don't, honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal which one it is. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll just mull it over in the next couple of days. Whatever I don't play Tuesday night, I'll end up playing Wednesday night, okay? And so this week will be a balance between GTA 4, Super Mario 64, and a little bit more Dragon Quest Builders 2. And we're going to balance that in with my late night chill stream. That's going to be the, the, the next schedule for the next week. For those who already want to get ahead of themselves that far, there you go. That's what you can expect, okay? All right. So I hope you guys are looking forward to all these streams in the next week. I know I am. <clears throat> hope this sounds good to you. Um... Because it sounds good to me. I'm excited for all these new playthroughs and everything. Okay? We've got a few updates. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, it is pretty much at this point your absolute last chance to nominate games for the Rageathon. Because either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'm closing the nominations thread on my forums on thekingofhate.com. And I'm going to be making the poll that's going to determine what game will actually be played. All right? So it's your last chance to get in there. And, and uh, nominate anything. Uh, so please do. Go to thekingofhate.com. Go to the general section on the forums. There's a thread right there for the Rageathon. Please post up the games that you want to see played. And I'll be tallying up those nominations very shortly. All right? I will also be sure to let all of you know when um, the poll is live so you can start voting. Fair enough. Also, as you guys can see at the top of your screens, we do have a sub goal for the month of August here on the streams. I know we're already a third through the month of August. So the sub goal this month is the return of the retrospective event where we reminisce and we go back and watch videos that you guys will be nominating from my 11 years as a content creator. It could be any kind of video. It could be a game playthrough. It could be a game review. It could be a vlog. You know, there's many different kinds of videos I've put out over the years, all right? And we watch these in a marathon setting I react to them. I give you behind-the-scenes commentary and the like, and they've been really popular events. We have not done one now in several months, so I think this would be a good time to do one, all right? Um, but that being said, we need to hit the sub goal for this month. The sub goal is 600 subs, all right? So please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not. If you have not subscribed and you're wondering what are the benefits of being a subscriber, there are many. You, number one, get access to over 30 emotes here on the channel, including the brand spanking new Jasper emote. Jasper is my cat. Everyone loves the emote, and that's pretty cool that people really like it that much. So, uh, you know, that's awesome that, that it's there, and I hope that you guys enjoy it, all right? Now, <clears throat> in addition to that, there's many, many other emotes. But also, you don't have to watch advertisements. When I take ad breaks, you can skip the ad breaks. That's pretty neat, isn't it? And then in addition to that, um... There's also the fact that you get a cool chat crown badge that shows how long you've been a, a supporter, all right? And a lot of people like the chat crown badges. They think they're well-designed. I agree. Um, so many benefits. Many, many benefits to being a subscriber here on the channel. And I hope that if you're not a subscriber, you'll consider doing it. If we, Like I said, 600 subs will get us to this milestone where we can do the retrospective event. Uh, and I hope that we hit it. I really would love to do it, okay? 
Fair enough. All right. So there you go. Um. Anything else? Anything else? I'm just trying to think if there's anything else at the top of my head before we get to the next segment of the pre-stream. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anything's really coming to mind. So I think that may be it. I guess so, because I would think if anything else was coming, it was important. I would have popped into my head by now, right? All right, fair enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's now move on to the next part of our pre-stream, which is the gratuitous plugs, by which. I explain my history as a content creator, and I let you know the ways that you can be supported. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for 11 awesome years. That's right, for 11 years I've been a content creator on the internet. Started off on YouTube doing it as a hobby for like two to two and a half hours a night after my, my job, um, and never made a dime doing it, all right? Then I got laid off from my, my five year long office job in 2010. I needed to find a way to make ends meet. And I said, I wonder if I could somehow turn this crazy hobby uh, into something else. And I did. I found a way to turn my YouTube presence into uh, a job. And I did that for a good six years. You know, I was a full-time YouTuber. And I really enjoyed it. But sadly, in 2017, the bottom fell out on YouTube. And it didn't make it viable anymore for someone like me to be uh, a full-time YouTuber and make a living doing it. Sadly, because... Uh, you know, they screwed up. They lost all their advertisers. You know, it's, it's a sad story because many people just like me weren't able to keep doing what they wanted to do for a living anymore because YouTube screwed up. Um, so, with that happening, I said, well, I could just give up or I could try to find a way to make it still work. And I did. What I did is I became a full-time streamer right here on Twitch. I became interactive so that on all my streams, basically, I was constantly talking with all of you and even though I was still putting out the fun quality playthroughs that I enjoyed, I had to change myself up a little bit. I reinvented myself. And for the past two and a half years, that's how it's been. And I'll be very honest with all of you. I absolutely love this. Uh, every day when I come to work, I'm like, damn, this is awesome. I can't wait to sit down and play games and have fun with everyone today on stream. It really is like living the dream. Um, and I'm very appreciative that you guys give me the opportunity to do that. All right. That being said, all right, I basically make absolutely nothing on YouTube anymore. It's basically just an archive of my live streams. I don't make original content for them anymore because there's just no point. Um, and it's honestly to the point now where uh, I, I pretty much almost solely rely on crowdfunding via the streams in order to make ends meet and keep doing this, all right? So I want to say thanks to everyone who does uh, go out of their way to be supportive and allow me to keep doing what I love for a living, all right? Now, if you like the daily live streams that I do. If you like the fact that I still archive my long form videos on DSP Gaming on YouTube and you want to see all this continue to keep going and be successful, all right? There are many ways that you can support my content that we're about to review right now. The first is you can check out my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Your monthly pledges earn you personal perks. Rather, uh, excuse me, rather than go into monstrous detail about that, I'd rather that you just go check it out for yourself. All right, so please give it a look over at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Everything there is explained. Um, and thanks to those who do contribute via that method, that is much appreciated. Now, I have a Teespring store. In my Teespring store, I sell all kinds of merchandise, in particular t-shirts, but there's a lot of other stuff that I do there as well, including sweatshirts, stickers, mugs, and the like. Um, anything you buy from that Teespring store helps me out and you get a cool collectible. I can attest that the quality is great because I own many of those Teespring shirts myself and I wear them on the streams. Um, some people have requested that I make some merchandise uh, with my cat Jasper, to which I respond, okay, fair enough, sounds like a good idea. And I probably will do that soon, but what I'd like to do is wait at least a week or two for Jasper to be on the streams so that we can maybe determine, geez, is there something funny that he does or is there a meme or something, you know that we can get out of it, rather than me just throwing something random together, maybe something more pertinent to what he does on the streams would make more sense, right? So, uh, I'll work on that when we get a chance. And of course, if anyone out there has any kind of graphic design experience, and you would maybe like to take a crack at, you know, doing something like that, like designing a logo or designing a design uh, with Jasper on it, go right ahead and you can always submit that to me. Email me, darksidephilhotmail.com. There's also a thread on my forums where you can submit fan art and the like, all right? So, yeah, that may be coming soon. But anyway, check out my Teespring at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming, all right? 
Now, if you're here live on today's live stream, okay, um, one of the best ways that you can uh, contribute and get some interaction is by either cheering with bits, subscribing to the channel, or tipping me. Doing any three of those things, obviously, number one, it helps me out, and number two, uh, you can get some interaction with me because I'm going to give you a shout out for any contributions, all right? That being said, um, please understand a few things. Number one, even though contributions are greatly appreciated and they keep stuff going around here, as I've already explained, they're not mandatory. I'm not expecting anything from anyone, nor are you expected to contribute just because you're on the stream. Understand that, all right? Because some people try to talk shit and or they try to say otherwise. It's not the case. I'm perfectly happy just hanging out with all of you every day um, and having fun, you know, sharing my gameplay experiences with you. That's what it's all about. I'm quite frankly amazed that people care <laughs> enough to want to hear my gameplay op opinions and the like. Um, it's a pretty awesome experience that people care about me, uh, you know, to that regard. So I'm just incredibly grateful for that. All right. But if you can contribute... It is much appreciated because that is really what's keeping stuff going. And thank you very much to anyone who does. All right. So that's number one. Number two. Um, I have to basically watch what I say and do on Twitch due to the terms of service. So understand that I'm not just free to just say and do whatever I want and respond to however I want to anybody. Um, in addition, I try to maintain a certain vibe around my streams as well. That I feel is appropriate. You know, a chill vibe where it's all about me kind of reacting to games and having fun, interacting with all of you guys, talking about certain topics and the like. That means there's certain topics we're not going to touch. We're not going to talk about politics. We're not going to talk about religion. We're not going to talk about these topics that are very argumentative and get people all angry at each other or whatever. Because that's not what my streams are about. You're here to escape from that crap of reality and have a fun time. You're not here to hear about all that same shit, right? In addition, I'm not going to be bringing up drama. I'm not going to be bringing up negativity. I don't want to hear about... The, the latest asshole who insulted me or did this or did that. No one cares, all right? We don't need that crap. Every once in a while, it's unavoidable. There's not much you could do. But if and when I can't control it, I try to keep it off the streams because I realize that people just want to be here again to relax. They don't want to hear all that crap, okay? <clears throat> so, um, that's the deal with my streams, all right? And so, understand, I go out of my way to try to give credit to every single contributor However, understand there may be a few cases where I don't respond to something purposely because I feel that maybe it would derail the stream or whatever. So please understand that, that I don't directly respond to every single thing that happens on stream. Uh, and I have no obligation to either. It's another thing. There's no obligation for me to say or do anything on these streams um, at all. So don't let people try to fool you. They're, oh, Phil isn't grateful because he didn't respond to a cheer. No, no, the truth is probably I felt that that cheer was derailing or insulting in some way. And I didn't want the whole stream to be about that. So, you know, a lot of the times, if that's the case, I'm going to skip it, all right? I have to, it's, it's, it's very tricky. It, if some people think that streaming is easy, it's, it's more complicated than ever. I, anything I ever had to do just making videos on YouTube, that's for sure, okay? So anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for understanding, all right? As you guys can see, we have a, a leaderboard uh, at the top of the screen here, which is the Stream Stats leaderboard that's going to track things like top tipper and top cheerer of the day and I will update that manually once people um, actually get uh, you know into those spots for the day to get some extra recognition now in addition to the top of your streams you may see a cheering leaderboard that's integrated right there into the stream chat um, and I would consider uh, taking a look at that every once in a while because that's the top cheering contributors of the week in fact I'm going to give a shout out to those contributors before we even get started here today, okay? So if you're a cheerer, you get up on that leaderboard. If you're one of the top 10, if you're the top uh, tipper or top <clears throat> uh, cheerer of the day as well, you'll get onto my, my own personal stream stats leaderboard. So again, there's many ways uh, that I seek to give credit to those who contribute, okay? um, Let's see. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else that I may have forgotten? That we should address before we move on and start doing shout outs. I guess the only thing I would say is this. Um, you know, if you absolutely want to help out the most, right now tipping does help the most. Just being honest. Tipping uh, is cool because those are funds that I get right away that I can use for things. And right now I'm in the midst of paying all my bills for the month. Very shortly I'm going to have to spend a lot of money on games near the end of this month. There's a ton of new games coming out uh, at the end of this month. So if you do want to kind of help out the most 
Tipping me helps me slightly more than everything else. Although, quite frankly, cheering, subbing, everything helps. All right? So don't think that, oh, just because all I can do is cheer today, I can't really help Phil. That's not the case at all. It does help. But right now, I would say tipping does help a little bit more. Um, and, you know, you can tip it in various ways. You can type exclamation point tip into the stream chat or look below the stream uh, where um, there's a, a, t a tip jar link. You know, take a look. All right? My nose is itching me today. I don't know why. It's been bothering me the whole pre-stream. Like, God, my face feels so itchy. I know why, because I didn't shave yet this week. That's what it is. I didn't shave yet this week. I was going to shave last night, and then I forgot. I got wrapped up in other stuff. And I didn't shave, and now I have this long-ass beard that's bothering me. <laughs> I need to shave sooner rather than later. Maybe tonight, or t I mean tomorrow at the latest. Monday's my day off, so I don't want to look like a fucking mountain man when I go out with my wife. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so, um, let's get now to the shout-out, shall we, folks? Let's do that. Okay, so, we start off with Tony Hawk, who did a 140-bit cheer as the stream went live this morning. Very nice. Thank you very much, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk says the following. Another fun and exciting day of Super Mario 64. I agree. I love this game, even though there's some really challenging stuff, and the camera can be very frustrating. And let's be honest, the controls as well, because they're kind of... The momentum in this game is, is kind of silly. You take one step in one direction and you can't even stop anymore. Unlike future Mario games where Mario could like stop on a dime. In this one, it's very, very hard to control Mario. Um, so, it's still fun though. You know, and There's a lot of stuff you can do in this game that's pretty crazy. Like the crazy backflipping wall jumps and shit. You wouldn't think you could pull that kind of stuff off. But you can. It's pretty outst outstanding and interesting. The stuff that they did with the, the engine of this game. So... Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm liking the game so far. Looking forward to more today. Thank you, Tony Hawk, for the first cheer of the day. Coral Guy did 50-bit cheers. I emailed you yesterday about being a mod, and I'm looking forward to today's stream. Coral Guy, interestingly enough, I don't think I got your email. I was checking last night. I don't think I got it. So what I would say is try sending it again today, and if I don't get it again, what I may have to do is talk to you privately because maybe your email is getting caught in my spam filter, which is very likely... Because my spam filter catches a lot of shit because I get so much spam. Alright, and I apologize for that if that's the case. Obviously, it's not your fault. So I would say try shooting me another email just to be sure. <clears throat> and uh, and we'll go from there, okay? Alright. So thank you for the cheer, Coral Guy. Kevy Bear Jr. did 100 bit cheer. He says, how do you compensate your mods for their hard work and dedication? Uh, it's volunteer work, dude. It always has been. It always will be. As with 99% of streams on Twitch... There are very few streams where anyone actually gets paid for anything. Most of my moderators are fans who willingly enjoy stepping up and volunteering their time and efforts to make sure that the streams, uh, you know, are in order and clean and, you know, we don't have assholes coming in here, right? So, there you go. Ghost of Mr. Epstein. Oh, boy. Now we've got a political... I, I guess you could say it's political. I, I don't really know. I don't really want to get into it. The ghost of Mr. Epstein tipped me $5. It said, I spawn, I die. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't want to put that on the leaderboard. Because when someone passes away, despite the fact that they may be uh, accused of horrendous, disgusting crimes, um, I don't really want to put that up on the leaderboard. So I'm going to say the ghost of Mr. E. Just because I don't want anyone to be offended. All right. For someone who just passed away in the news. I'm not, you know. As you... Hey, Normally, you would say you don't speak ill of the dead, but what the guy was accused of is so egregiously, horrendously terrible that <laughs> I guess in some cases people don't mind. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not going to go there. So I'm just going to... Ghost of Mr. E sounds fine to me. Thank you for the $5 tip, whoever that was. Okay. Um, Uzi Gohard tipped me a dollar and said, I seriously think you should reconsider unbanning Liquid Hindo. No. I'm not even going to, I'm seriously not even going to read the rest of your message. That's a hard stop no when I read that. And now we move on. <laughs> there you go. Jubaka has resub for four months and says a drink to us, dude. All right. Thank you very much, Jubaka. <clears throat> I appreciate that, sir. And uh, thank you for the, the four months of support. Okay. Um. Let's see here. M5NSX. Did a 100-bit cheer, okay? And I think he's asking about how my Minecraft streams work. 
Now, for those of you who haven't been to one of my Minecraft streams, you may have absolutely no idea what he's talking about. So allow me to explain. On my late night Minecraft streams, what I do is we have basically a, 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 a new practice. We've only been doing it for about a month. Where if you are the top contributor over the night, you get something in the game named after you. Okay? Or you can have something named uh, something different as long as it's reasonable. Right? Like we had someone who wanted to name one of the homes that I built in the game something silly. They named it like a smelly condo or something like that. Right? So... It's a fun thing. It gets people excited to contribute. It gets people excited for the end of the streams because they want to see who's going to get something named after them, etc. It's a fun thing that I do, and people really like it. Okay. Um, now, m 5 msx at 100 bit cheer, and he asks, So on a Minecraft stream, if I tip you $10 and then $15 in two separate tips, but someone then tips $20, wouldn't I still be the top contributor? The answer there is no. The way that it works, it's, it's the top overall contribution, much like how I have on my leaderboard here, top cheerer, top tipper. Someone could tip me... $31 tips but if someone tips me $20 they're going to be the top tipper on the leaderboard you see what I mean it's not cumulative and quite frankly I wouldn't be able to do it cumulatively anyway because there's no way for me to 100% confirm you know who's tipping what okay um just being honest there's not so I have to go with what I can do and what I can do is overall in one shot who's the top contributor all right so that's how it works. If you want to be the top contributor on a Minecraft stream, you have to do the overall top contribution, okay? And as you guys have seen, it's been pretty interesting what happens is you know, people kind of scurry at the end of the stream to try to get in there and become the top contributor. Um, but yeah, there's no way for me to accurately track that. There really isn't. So that's my answer here is no, it has to be per individual contribution, okay? And by the way, it's not that I can't count it's that when people tip, they can do anonymous names. They can do all this information that's different. There's no way to on the fly know who's tipping what. So there's no way that I could do it that way. Okay? That's honestly why the way it is how it is. So. All right. Big Sloppy Me. Oh, boy. Welcome back, Big Sloppy Me. He just cheered and he said, No one is as dedicated to you as getting contributions as me. Wait. No one is as dedicated to you getting contributions as me saying that I believe I should rightfully be a mod. I await your email. No. Continuing on, amazing, tipped me a dollar, all right, and basically said a bunch of derailing nonsense that didn't happen, so I'm just going to ignore it, and I'm going to say thank you for the dollar. Uh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall for your foolishness, and we're just going to move right on. So there you go. Amazing. <laughs> amazing how I don't fall for your bait, your troll bait. Okay, uh, Coral Guy did a 50 bit cheer and said, let's -a go. All right, Coral Guy, thank you very much for that cheer. I appreciate that. Liquids first did a 50-bit cheer. He says, I'm talking, I'm taking bets for how many times Filbert says I'm just being honest. Well, I'm just being honest here. I have a few mannerisms that I tend to say and do on streams. So just being honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I say I'm just being honest a lot. I also would probably say that's the bottom line. A lot. Those are just some of my, my speaking mannerisms that people tend to make fun of me for because they feel that it's it makes them feel better about themselves when they observe things that are shortcomings in others because then it hides the shortcomings of themselves because I'm sure everyone has flaws, right? Everyone has a, a tick or a flaw that they wouldn't like to be exposed publicly constantly. Everyone has those, those things. No one is perfect but because I'm a streamer they feel that it's the cool thing to point out a shortcoming of a streamer uh, and make them feel like they're they're less of a human. So I would like to say thank you, thank you, uh, Liquids First, for pointing out one of my flaws. Because as we all know, uh, I have so few that we definitely got to point out the few that actually come through on stream, right? We all know that I'm not a flawed human who makes tons of mistakes every single day or anything. I'm, I'm obviously nearly perfect. <laughs> And yes, this is sarcasm, if you can't tell. All right. Continuing on, Kevy Bear Jr. did a 50-bit cheer. He says, you have a tipper's email address. Why can't you use that to identify contributors? Because, a few reasons. Number one, it's not live. What I mean by that is, yes, I will eventually see their email address, but it has to come through my email first, right? I have to actually get the notification from PayPal that a tip has come through, and it gives you that information. So, do you really expect me 
during a Minecraft stream to sit here and every tip that comes through now, I've got some kind of a crazy cumulative running spreadsheet tracking email addresses to the penny of contributions, adding it up. Like, who the fuck do you think I am, right? If the truth of the matter is, if I had a team of people sitting here monitoring my PayPal account, monitoring my emails and monitoring all this during the live stream and could do this tracking for me, Sure, then, maybe we could do cumulative contributions during a Minecraft stream. But this is realism. This is not some fantasy fucking land where I make a million dollars a year and I can hire him full-time employees to come do this kind of work for me. This is just a guy sitting in his office, playing games, having fun, and doing a few extra things for contributors. And you gotta be realistic, alright? And you asking me to do these ridiculous things is not realistic, so I think that you should just uh, let it go, okay? Okay. All right. One dollar troll tip tipped me a dollar and said, not going to read it. And now we're at eight dollars in tips. Very nice. There you go. Well, there you go. Someone gets it. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much to all right. An one dollar troll tip. I appreciate the one dollar troll tip. It actually isn't a one dollar troll tip. It's actually just for someone being silly. Thank you for that. Inside joke. Big as sloppy meat, just cheered. He says, find someone who plugs your Patreon more. Now it would only be right to mod me. Uh, no. No, you're not getting modded. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, continuing on. <laughs> uh, 30-minute media. <clears throat> Did a 50-bit cheer? Uh, wow, excuse me. Holy shit. <clears throat> oh, my God. Ugh. What's going on? I'm exploding. My whole body's exploding. <laughs> what is happening? I don't even know what's going on. Hold on a second. I got to get myself back under control here. What? I get a burp and my throat is screwed up. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that was absolutely revolting and I apologize everybody. I don't know what the hell just happened. That was ridiculous. Ridiculously disgusting. All right. Hold on a second. I'm going to have a sip of water here. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I might have gotten it all cleared out now. Holy shit. What was that? <laughs> My body was invaded. I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore, man. Okay. I think I'm okay now. I think we're all right. <laughs> all right, guys. Continuing on. Oh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> Got to get myself back. Okay. 30-minute media. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay. 30-minute <laughs> media. Did a 50-bit cheer and says, Hold an election for the open mod position. Then have a live debate with the top three candidates. What is going on? Did you not understand when I said I don't want my streams to be political? That I don't want my streams to be political? <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. There's some, some really silly stuff going on today. All right. Um, continuing on. We've got Pimple on Face. Who took to be a dollar and said something insulting. So thank you to Pimple on Face. For the insulting tip. It is appreciated. Thank you for the dollar insult. It's always cool if people throw dollars at me to insult me. Right? So thank you for that. And uh, let me go ahead and, get, and, and add that to our total tips. For the, that insult. Okay? Thank you for the insult. Very insulting. Alright. Continuing on. Kevin Bear Jr. Cheers. He says, it shows the emails on PayPal. I use it all the time to track. It's not hard at all. As I just said, Kevin Bear. Yes, it is. Because I would have to sit there manually adding together contributions in a spreadsheet and a calculator instead of playing the game. That's not the point of a gameplay stream. And just the fact that I want to give a little bit extra to those who contribute doesn't mean that I have to derail the entire stream with that. So I'm not doing it. As I've already said probably four to five times now on this stream, I'm not going to repeat myself again. All right? It's not going to happen. You should give up now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Continuing on, what I'd like to do now is give a shout out to the top 10 cheering contributors of the week. And then 
As long as there's no further contributions, I think we're going to get started with today's gameplay stream. What do you guys think? Does that sound like a good idea to you? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, first of all, in 10th place this week, we've got Jingle Massive. In 9th place, Vote Democrat. In 8th place, M5NSX. In... Tie for 6th between... Ludwig, Ludwig World Order and Big Sloppy Meat. No, excuse me. I screwed that up completely. Now I feel like an idiot. Let's try that again. A tie for six, sixth place between Ludwig World Order and Mr. Papa Vera. That was completely my fault. I said the wrong thing and I apologize to Big Sloppy Meat. We wouldn't want Big Sloppy Meat to not be getting his credit. All right. So now we actually have a tie for fourth place. That tie is indeed between... Big Sloppy Me and Liquids First. All right, so thank you to both of you for your contributions. In third place this week, we've got Bent Boxer. In second place, we've got Kevy Bear Jr. And in first place, Baby Demonic Gaming. So thanks to all of you who cheered this week so far. Especially Big Sloppy Me, which I love to say on stream, obviously. I appreciate that, Okay. All right, um, all right, so I think we're good to go. Well, actually, the last thing I would like to do is check on sub count because the, the subs have been kind of fluctuating a lot recently. <clears throat> 563 subs. See, they went up, so I'm glad that I checked. Let's update that. All right. There we go, 563. Cool. Oh, let's see here. Nihilistic Goldfish uh, did a 50-bit cheer. And he says, was the $100 tip at the end of last night's stream legit? I'm sure they would want a shout-out for it, just a reminder. I mean, I guess I could, even though it really is pertinent to last night's stream. So here's what happened last night, okay? Um, during my Minecraft stream, there was some big competition, all right, at the very end of the, the, the tail end of the stream to try to become top contributor and get something named after the, the, that person in the game. All right, Everyone was last minute throwing tips and stuff at the stream, seeing if they could be the top contributor of the week to get something named after them, all right? Well, I said, all right, there's like a minute left, and then a couple of people did it, and then finally, boom, we had the top contributor. It was nailed in stone. I said, all right, I've got to use the bathroom really bad, so let's end the stream, and then what we'll do is first thing next week, what we'll do is is do, uh, you know, we'll have this this be what we name or whatever, okay? And what it's going to be is actually a gravestone uh, for one of my mods who sadly went rogue and uh, kind of lost his mind, being an idiot, and... Uh, is now banned. I don't know what else to say. That's just literally what happened last night, okay? So we said, okay, we'll do that next stream. So I basically took the stream into offline mode. It was still streaming, you know, the closing screen. And I went and took a ginormous duty dump. You know, I completely filled my toilet. So I come back to the stream and I turn the stream off and I'm uploading videos. And, uh, you know, I I'm basically shutting down for the day. And I just happen to so glance over at my stream chat, and I see that a lot of people are still talking, and I'm like, I wonder why everyone's still talking, like, this is odd, usually at the end of the night, that's it, it dies out, and it, that's the end of it, I don't know what's going on, um, so I started reading, and people were like, yeah, you know, we wish the stream would keep going, and there's a contribution, and blah, 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 I was like, huh, so I was like, what, what are you guys talking about, and they're like, yeah, someone gave, did like a giant tip at the end when you were gone, I was like, really? Let me take a look. Now, the thing is, there's no way you could tell on stream because once the pop-up happens, there's no other way to indicate it. I had to go check my PayPal because everything else had been closed. I closed, everything was closed. My stream labs and everything was already closed. So I, there was no way for me to even know. So I checked my PayPal and yeah, at the end of the stream, someone had actually sent me a $100 tip saying, can you stream longer? But it was too late. I already took the stream offline. I'd already started uploading. You know, it was too late to do anything. Um... You know, so I feel a little bad. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to feel horrible because I didn't, you know, that contribution, I didn't know it was coming, um, you know, and there was no way to prepare for it or anything. You know, it's not like I intentionally missed it. Uh, it just came in at the very last minute of the stream and I didn't see it because the stream was going offline, right? Um, it happens, but I guess Nihilus the Goldfish makes a good point. He says, if that was legit, why don't you give some credit? So it was from Baby Fuck Brain Gaming, <laughs> who did a $100 tip. And said, can you extend the stream another hour so you can make that gravestone? Uh, sadly, no, I couldn't. And I apologize. Again, I apologize for that. Um, you know, I had no idea that that even came through until it was too late. So, 
Apologies all around. Sorry about that. But th thank you very much for that very large and generous tip at the end of yesterday's stream, which sadly I didn't see because the stream was offline. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Okay, continuing on, we've got a cheer from M5NSX who did a 199-bit cheer and said, let's get you up on the leaderboard. All right, let's get you up on the leaderboard, M5NSX. Let's do that. You were the top cheer of the day with that 199-bit cheer. Thank you. Crap, it's M5NS. I can't type. There we go. 199 bits. Thank you. Oh my god, excuse me. And then Liquid's First did a 100-bit cheer. I don't know what's going on with my body today. My body is falling apart. Liquid's First did a 100-bit cheer and said, I'm being serious. What do you think about the theory that when a person always says I'm being honest with you before they say something, they're about to lie? Um, well, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> no, it's stupid. That's just so stupid. It's a mannerism. It's a mannerism in someone's voice or someone's dialect that is accumulated over time. I don't even realize I'm saying it. I really don't. It's just a way to fill time as my mind is formulating the thought that I want to say next. Um, it, uh, um, see, um is one too. Um, you might as well just say that every time someone says um, it means that they're lying. Because it's the same exact thing. I'll be honest with you. The bottom line is um, they're all time-filling uh, phrases in dialect that allow us to fill time while our brain processes what the next words are going to be out of our mouth. So I don't mean anything... <clears throat> buy it when I usually say these 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 dialect mannerisms. They're just a way that I speak because I speak on the fly all day long, right? Like literally every stream I have to constantly be thinking in my head, you know, what am I going to say next? How am I going to say it? And these are ways to kind of kill time and or extend what I'm saying so that I have time to formulate that thought. There you have it. That's the truth of the matter. No, nope, make no bones about it. It's not about someone's about to lie or you know that you know what that is. That's superstitious conspiracy theory stupidity. Much like all the things that people say about me that are negative, it's just nonsense with no basis in actual fact at all or science. It's just stupid shit that dumb people say. Okay, <clears throat> just saying. Okay, um, uh, let's see here. CM Fool has resubscribed for thirty-two months. Thank you very much, CM Fool, for an amazing 32 long months of support. That is super appreciated. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Babyman Gaming 231 has just done a 500 bit cheer. Thank you very much, Babyman Gaming 231. That is the biggest cheer of the day. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. In essence, I believe now we have two Babyman Gaming now in, in the top. Uh, the top cheers of the week with that one. I'll check in a moment. I think we do now. <laughs> There's too many baby men. It's so confusing. No one knows who any of them are. Basically, it's like being Agent Agent Smith, right? Where you can't tell who anyone is anymore because they all look the same. <clears throat> yeah, that just propelled that, that baby man. So that baby man gaming was propelled into seventh place. And we have baby demonic gaming in first place. So technically, we only have one Baby Man Gaming in the top uh, cheerers of the week. <laughs> okay. Good lord. <laughs> so silly. All right. Uh, are we good to go? I think we have now covered um, everything, right? I think we've covered all the bases. And I've done shout-outs to all the... the uh... Wait a minute. I was just about to say we've done shoutouts for all the contributions. And then a contribution came in from Frog with a Party Hat. <clears throat> and he says, oh yes, this is great. He cheered and said, there's a meme going around that Jeffrey Epstein was going to name me and I had him whacked. No, the meme is that every single politician had him whacked because apparently this guy had, had dirt on like everybody. Democrats, Republicans, people in Hollywood. Like this guy apparently had the dirt on so many people. That he knew sooner or later he was going to die horribly. And that's why he offed himself. So. <laughs> Damn. But who knows what the truth is, right? Alright, so I guess that's it. Wait a minute. Just wait one minute. We just got a cheer from Nihilistic Goldfish. A 50-bit cheer. And in the cheer he says, wait just one minute. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Nihilistic Goldfish, for the 50-bit cheer. All right. Now it seems... Now it seems that we have definitely given shout-outs for all the contributions on the stream. And so what we're going to do is wrap up the pre-stream. I think I'm going to take just a minute to go use the restroom quickly. Because this is Mario. And I need to be on my A-game. If I have to piss, it's going to throw me off. <laughs> with the precise jumps and shit. So I'm probably just going to very briefly use the restroom. And then we're going to come back and we're going to continue on. Wait, wait, oh, hold on. m 5 nsx just cheered and said, wait another minute. Thank you, M5NSX. Wait a minute for a 50-bit cheer. I appreciate that very much, M5NSX. All right, so now I believe we've now properly given shout-outs for all of the contributions. I'm going to go take a very short break, probably like a two-minute break to use the restroom. Um, and then we're going to come back with the continuation of Mario 64. We are in the dire, dire docks. And I believe I got either two or three of the stars so far. Actually, I take it back. I think I got four of the stars. So I got the sub, I got the, the red coins, and I got the two transformation block stars. So there's two more there somewhere. And then uh, the coins, which is going to be delightful. You know, getting the coins is just oh so fun. <sighs> and then we're on, I believe, to the third and final star door of the game. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys, that's it. Let's end the pre-stream. I'll be right back. See you in a, in a bit.